All right, Roswell Flight Test Crew back here at NAB 2014, and I'm here with Lawrence Dennis from ATI, his neighbor and good friend right back home in Portland. So How you doing? Fun to see you here a That's thousand great. miles I'm glad from you home. guys made it down here. Oh, we're, we're glad to be here with you. I know that's something you guys have been working with for a while now, is this 360 Hero thing, where you take a bunch of Hero cameras, mount them in this thing, and they're all stitched together to give you a 360 perspective, isn't that right? That's correct, yes. But there's a drawback to that, which is what? Well, you know, we try to not want to have subject matter in our shots, right? We want to right. give that viewer the experience of it's just them and it's their perspective on things. Um, when you have a 360 camera, it becomes really difficult to get out of the shot at that point. <laughs> as does, point. you know, the issue with the helicopter being in the shot as well. A lot of people don't want to see the helicopter in the shot. Sure, sure. Um, so we wanted to come up with a solution for that, basically. Now, can you show us this? Uh, this is an example sure. of your footage. So, now, this was us flying our original prototype uh, 360 rig um, that uh, Patrick just showed. And basically, 360 video is just that. It's recording video. And you can move up and you can move down and look around. And then you can also manipulate it. And with you your can finger. also manipulate it with your finger. So we can see where we're kind of flying over the, over the uh, submarine there. But then the problem is... But the problem is, if people start looking around, here's the helicopter in the shot right there. You can see there's some parallax issues because the helicopter and the camera array are pretty close. Um, so to come up with a solution for that, we came up with this machine right here. Okay, so this thing is just... I, I, hope, you're, I hope this comes through on video. This thing is just amazing. It's a hexacopter, and you've got a GoPro on the end of each limb, and then three on the top and three on the bottom. So what does this do for you? Well, basically, as you can see, we've taken this basic structure that you see here and we just pulled it away so that, in essence, the helicopter's in the center of our 360 spherical camera. So it's as if the, the helicopter was embedded That's correct, yes. in there. Okay. Yeah, so now what ends up happening is, I'll go ahead and find that video here. Here's some prototype footage of this device right now. Yeah, so there's the horizon, and we're just going to look straight up, and there's nothing. Except a nice gray Oregon sky. That's right. Same but thing with below. So basically, it's uninhibited footage. And we coined it the orb. Basically, it feels <laughs> like you're in an immersed environment with, you know, just yourself. Kind of. That is just amazing. That is just amazing. Now you got you have a partner in this, right? Who you're doing this project with? Well, correct. Our partner's 360 Heroes, the inventor Mike Hitner, with the uh, 360 Orb Array. Basically, we teamed up with him to represent the drone side of things on this, basically. And we're going to be going, you know, we're going to be going after markets that this technology will apply directly to. Very cool. Very yeah. cool. Well, all right. Um, well, Lawrence, thanks so much for no, talking to us. My pleasure. Thanks let's, for coming. Um, when we get back to Portland, let's get together and do a video about this. Yes, thing, we will. Because that would be so cool. Yeah, definitely. We'll, <laughs> we'll definitely take it out and fly it, and we'll show. We'll obviously, we'll show you guys. So Very anyway, cool. thanks again, no Lawrence. Problem, take Patrick. care. Thanks for coming, guys. Um, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew from NAB 2014 signing off. Thanks for watching. That's just crazy.